Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna jazz up a hamburger and turn it into a delicious banh mi burger. If you've never had a banh mi, it's such an awesome sandwich, and this is a great variation, you know, because of the toppings. First thing we're gonna do, put a pickling solution together, a little bit of vinegar, some water and some sugar in a small saucepan on low heat on the stove top, and then just stir that around. You don't have to bring it to a bubble or boil or anything. That sugar will dissolve and disappear after a few moments. And then you can get it off of that heat, set it aside, let it chill out in the fridge while we take care of our daikon and our carrots. Now I'm gonna make a lot more pickled carrot and daikon than I'm gonna need for a few burgers. You don't have to make this much, but I'm just using it for everything lately on all kinds of sandwiches, just throwing it on top of salads or eating it right out of the jar, using it as a side on a plate. Don't be afraid of making too much of this stuff. You know, just, just chop up equal parts carrot and daikon, then get it mixed up and throw it in whatever kind of jar you wanna pickle it in or store it in. I'm using a 32 ounce jar here. And this stuff will keep for a few weeks, but I'll use all this stuff up here before the week's out. Pour your pickling solution on there. You know, let it fill up to the top. Then we're gonna throw the lid on here and throw it in the fridge. You know, now the longer it sits in here, the better it's gonna taste. So if you can make this a day ahead of time, then that's best. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slice me up some salad cucumber. And you wanna use a salad cucumber because of the thin skin and the little dinky seeds, if there's seeds at all and then some jalapeno, thin slice some of that, get some seeds in there so you got some heat. You know, and that's just a great combination, you know, the cucumber and the jalapeno. That's what makes a banh mi, man, that bite, that kick of the pepper. Now I'm not gonna get too fancy pants on the burger itself, I'm gonna be pretty straightforward. Just some ground beef with a little bit of minced onion, salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna put some garlic powder on here, but you can put whatever kind of seasoning you want. You know, this time I'm gonna put a little bit of soy sauce since it's a banh mi burger. But sometimes I put Worcestershire, you know, just get it all mixed up. And then I'm gonna tear it into thirds because I'm not young like I used to be. I used to be a time where I just tear it in two and have two half pound burgers, but those days are gone, man. Now I'm gonna heat my skillet on kind of high heat because I like to cook them hot. You know, and I like to just turn them one time, season them before I turn them, and then just boom, boom, you know, one time, don't be, don't be playing with it. Don't squish all the juices out of here. Don't squish all the goodness out. Just one time, cook it to the doneness you like, and then get it off the heat. And then I'm not gonna let this skillet go to waste, you know, cause I love that dirty skillet. You know, I love those flavors burned on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and kinda get that off a little bit and I'm gonna cook me up some Vietnamese ham in here. You know, this is something I got earlier in the week and I've been playing around with it. And it's just awesome. You know, I gotta say, you know, I actually liked this more than the hamburger, more than the ground beef. But you can use whatever you want to make a banh mi burger. I was thinking of even trying it with a salmon patty, you know. So if you give that a go, you try a salmon patty and let me know how it is. But a banh mi burger is gonna be fantastic, no matter what you put on there. Now get your bun and your fixings ready and we're gonna go ahead and pile this stuff on here. Here's a rule, it's a hamburger rule if you're gonna use mayonnaise. Use real mayonnaise, don't kid yourself, don't get the fat-free stuff up there. That's just kind of sad to, to make a burger with fat-free stuff. So just go crazy, pile your fixings on there. Don't be shy with the pickled daikon or the jalapeno, because that's what's gonna make it a fantastic banh mi burger, is putting all these toppings on here. And the cilantro should look like a handful of something you got out of the yard, you know, that much. Now you see I made it upside down, but boom, that's an easy fix. And also, see here, I squished some of the juices out, but this is where the benefit of not toasting your burger comes in handy. You know, if you don't toast the bun, you can use it as a sponge, you know, but that's a personal preference. You know, if you want to toast it, go ahead, but I don't have time for all that. Now look at also the ratio of the bun to the bread. See how perfect that is? You got to think about that when you're making your burger. Don't have it so big that it's hanging out and don't have it so small that you're just eating a bunch of bread because it'll make it that much better if you've thought about the math. So here we go. Are you ready? Nom, 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 nom. Now camera girl, she actually made a better looking one than I did. She actually put the right ratio of toppings on there while I failed slightly. But you know, I still, I made one just like this here too when I ate that. I ended up making like three burgers for this video. But that's how dedicated I am. If I have to eat three delicious banh mi burgers to make one burger video, then I'll make that sacrifice. That was a little Jurassic Park move I had. I call that move the Velociraptor. 